The saber-toothed tiger, one of nature's most ferocious creations. Far more dangerous than the modern tigers we know of today. A heavy, muscular predator that used to rule the Ice Age kingdom. This creature went extinct 12,000 years ago, but what if I told that it might soon be possible to bring this animal back to life? What would happen to us and our modern world if the saber-toothed tiger was brought back from extinction? This is exactly what we'll be answering in today's video. You are currently watching Panthera, where I strive to help you discover nature's biggest secrets and questions. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. What do saber-toothed tigers, woolly mammoths, and the dodo all have in common? They're all extinct, and some theorize humans played a large part in this. What if we could bring them back? Is it scientifically possible? Soon, this might not be hypothetical as science is getting closer to bringing extinct animals back. Known as de-extinction, it's the process of bringing extinct animals back from the dead. One of the ways this could work would be using the DNA from extinct species and fusing it with its closest animal relative currently living today. One of the animals that scientists say is eligible for de-extinction is the saber-toothed tiger. If scientists were to combine saber-toothed tiger DNA with that of large cats like tigers alive today, this might be possible. Over time, these hybrid animals could slowly morph into full-on saber-toothed tigers, effectively bringing the species back. And now, you might be wondering, but isn't this very dangerous and risky? To answer this question, we must first know what this creature even is. Saber-toothed tigers, also known as Smilodons, are an extinct species of large cat that lived during the Ice Age and roamed North and South America for quite some time, along with woolly mammoths. In their time, saber-toothed tigers were one of the largest carnivores living in North America they were about five feet long and weighed 440 pounds. They had short limbs, but the massive build of a bear. It was a heavy, muscular animal and a predator not to mess around with, able to wrestle victims to the ground before tearing open their throats. They snacked on large mammals like elephants, rhinos and others. Perhaps the most impressive thing about saber-toothed tigers is their teeth. They had huge, eight-inch-long canine teeth. Sadly, this animal went extinct. This happened around 12,000 years ago during the Quaternary Extinction, where the saber-toothed tiger went extinct along with many other animals present during the Ice Age. This is because they were hunted by humans for their fur and bones. Also, they were unable to adapt to changes in their environment, which led to their demise. But now, back to the real question, what would happen if these animals were brought back from extinction? If the Smilodon, commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger, were to be resurrected in today's modern world, its reintroduction would have many consequences, some of them being quite scary. First, natural selection would have made it so that only saber-toothed tigers with smaller canines would have continued on. You don't necessarily need huge canines in order to kill prey, but if bigger canines are broken off too easily, saber-toothed tigers wouldn't be able to eat anything and would end up dying off. Also, there would be a competition of food. It's likely that they would have to travel away from where humans are settled in order to find prey. They may travel farther north following herds of large mammals like caribou or bison to the Arctic or northern Canada. Either that or they would have had to change their eating habits. Perhaps they would have resorted to attacking cattle or even humans instead of large mammals. Saber-toothed tigers hunted in packs. It could be possible for them to ambush and kill humans. Scary, right? 
That being said, humans are the dominant predator. If this animal was brought back to life, it would probably be protected. But maybe after some time this would stop, and if these creatures weren't protected, humans would use the fur of saber-toothed tigers for clothing, and perhaps even eat their meat. They would be revered by royalty. We would see them featured in royal portraits of kings and queens. On the other hand, if the saber-toothed tiger was brought back, maybe not much would change. There are other species of large cats in North America, like cougars. It would just casually be another cat in the area. But wait, what exactly is the point of all this? Sure, being able to have saber-toothed tigers as pets or ride a woolly mammoth would be amazing, but is it really worth it? What kind of purpose are these animals serving other than the sake of our entertainment? And there exists the possibility that these new animals would disrupt the current ecosystems we have today, leading to other animals going extinct because of them. One good thing the extinction could do is bring back essential animals we have today that might become extinct. Bees have long been talked about as a species that may go extinct relatively soon. If de-extinction technology is finally realized, maybe we'll never need to worry about it happening. But that also raises some concern. If that was our reality, people may think it was okay for things to go extinct since we could always bring them back. This could cause an increase in hunting and a general carelessness for animals all around the world. Bringing back a species like the Smilodon may sound like an incredible idea, but the risks and unpredictability of it are huge. So, what do you think? Should we bring back the one and only saber-toothed tiger?